That's true because uh, we have got large number of, we are 33 medical schools in the country and we also a lot of Malaysians who go overseas to the study. So the number of doctors who are entering into the market is now reaching about 5,000 a year and uh, we have already reached a ratio of about one doctor for 600 population. So if uh, as the number increases of course the ratio becomes lesser. Uh, so over a period of time this is something which uh, we might face but in the ministry level, as far as the training programs are concerned, we are trying to ensure that everybody who comes will get adequate amount of training. So I don't think we will compromise on the level of training which they will be given. The exposure will be given. In the long run, of course, uh, market forces will start to play. And uh, there, then people might go to the people whom they think are good. And those who are not so good might uh, be left out that, as in a normal market-based economy. But uh, we, on our side, are not going to re register or allow, uh, with the assistance of the Ministry of Education, any new medical schools. Neither are we going to increase, allow them to increase the number of new additional intake in any of the existing medical schools. And it is also a possibility that uh, we are studying seriously. The minimum entry requirement for students to take up medicine might be increased. Uh, now it's. I think uh, it's uh, four Bs in SPM, any level of B, we might increase that to a higher grade because a lot of students are getting a lot of A's nowadays, so we might increase the grades so, and, uh, and make this mandatory for even those who are going overseas. So this mechanism, I think, will be able to control and filter to ensure only the very good qualified eventually take medicine.